Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to a little layout share. Just sharing the 12 layouts that I completed whilst playing along with Scrap Squad's 12 Days of Summer Scrap Lifts and the Paper Issues Summer Scrapbooking Olympics or the Scrap Olympics Challenge. So I just thought we'd do a bit of a layout share. I know some people prefer layout shares rather than process videos or rambling videos in my case so you guys can take your pick as to what you watch so the summer scrap olympics challenge from paper issues was to create your own tic tac board tic tac toe board using the various events and the events were things like trampoline and then there was a challenge for each one I haven't done them all, so we have a few left. So let's just recap. We have a mood board for equestrian, a mood board for lacrosse, a inspiration image for diving. I think I will still do those, I'm hoping. We have a free pass to scrap lift any DT member, which I will probably do because I've seen a couple of layouts that are quite amazing. The design team for Paper Issues are so talented. We have football to create one with football themed photos, which I won't do. We have shooting, which is a scrap lift, and trampoline, which is also a scrap lift. So I will have actually completed the tic-tac-toe board twice, but that's okay because it's given me so much inspiration. So that is the Paper Issues Scrap Olympics. Link is down below. Go check it out. Play along. Have some scrappy fun. Just seen a daddy long legs. I've not seen one of them for a long time. Right. Onwards and upwards. Let me just readjust the camera. So a layout number one was a double page. And here it is. We have a big circular element in the middle. Big title. Journaling. And then the photos. The challenge was a mood board for golf. And I sort of took inspiration from the blues and the clouds and the sort of nature feel to it. And here is my first layout. So it's a double page, as I said. Can't quite fit it all on, but that's page one. That's page two. Loved what I did with the cut file on this. Do go back and check that out if you have not already. Bit gutted that I proceeded to cover most of it up, but that's the way it goes. And we've got an array of an array of embellishments from Vicky Bootin. Where to next? And her new mixed media collection, as well as some scraps. So I have used quite a bit of scraps on these layouts, which is always good. So a layout number one for day one. Layout number two was this Kylie Gingham scrap lift from Coco Vanilla Studio. Challenge was hockey, which was stitching or faux stitching. And I'm just going to keep these with there. There we go. And I've used the new Adventurous collection from Paige Evans, loving the hexagons. So I rotated the layout and sort of did it the opposite way, flipped it. And we've got a picture, or rather a postcard, of TV Tower in Berlin at Alexanderplatz. And yeah, love, love this. I've got some letters from Blooming Wild. In terms of the stitching, I've just used a faux stitch in each of the corners. Really, really love how this layout came together. And I love that collection, I have to say. It is one of my favourite page collections. Layout number three I absolutely love. It's a scrap lift of Claire Hawkins for 49 and Market. And the challenge was to do some doodling. Was it? No. It was either to do some doodling or cut those papers into sharp angles. So obviously perfect sharp angle. Three photos, lots of 49 and Market goodies. Love, love, love the way this turned out. And we've got some stitch elements there as well. So that was layout three. Layout four was another Cocoa Vanilla scrap lift of Tara McLean. And I took inspiration from the border of mixed media, which is a patterned paper. And I love how this one turned out as well. Got some mixed media going on. 
The challenge was to use arrows for archery. So we've got a few arrows going on. Love it. So that was one, two, three, four. This is five. And it's a layout from Simple Stories, Brianna Lepper. And I've got some, I was going to say stitching then. It's not stitching. It's stenciling in the background. Then we've got lots of bits and pieces on the sort of wavy design papers from Vicky B. Title here. I just love how this has come out actually. Built up some frames and a cluster there. And it's super, super dimensional without being too thick. And it's also very textured. I love all the different textures. Next one is another Coco Vanilla Studio from Mandy Melville. And I love this one as well. We've used Vicky Butin's Bold and Bright, along with a little bit of Where To Next. I love the contrast of the black and white photos with all the pops of colour with the black border. And our title is circular around there. The challenge for this was gymnastics to use everything round, which I think it's safe to say we definitely tick that box. Next one was this one. I'm not sure who this is. Please do check out the Scrap Squad Facebook group. All the details of whose layouts they are is there. And we've got cycling where we needed to use the abbreviation BMX, which was B for bold, M for multiple patterns, and X for X pattern. So I've got my little X's here. We've definitely got multiple patterns. And we've got a bold title, which is across here. So I've kind of extended it and used Hip Kit Club and a few scraps and stash bits. I love how this came out, actually. Really, really pleased with it. That's not stuck down very well, is it? I shall leave that there and go back with some glue. Next one was a scrap lift of Terry Morris, I think for pear tree cut files. Rowing was the challenge, which was all things boats or wood grain. So we've got a boat photo, lots of boat elements and wood grain. Love how this came out using fun in the sun from pebbles, lots of new flair. And I just love this paper, I, just, I love this. Super, super fun. Then we have got perhaps my favorite layout of the series, one of anyway. The adventure with the arrow is a favorite and this is also a favorite. It's a scrap lift of a Pebbles design team member and the challenge was to use basketball and color orange as the main color. Definitely succeeded there. We've got pops of teal, picture of Pippin and so much texture and dimension going on. Look at that. It is so... I love it. I really, really love this. I've not yet added my journaling, but that is my scrap lift of that. I love that layout. That is maybe my favourite one, especially because of the photo. Then we've got Hip Kit Club scrap lift from Becky Adams. Baseball challenge to use red, white and blue. And it's a Disney layout acrylic title and then just lots of little bits and pieces not a huge fan of the way this turned out but I don't hate it can't love them all our penultimate layout came from Chamel's main character Energy and a scrap lift of Josephine van der Hoven, another Coco Vanilla the challenge was wrestling and it is what scrappy item can't you live can't seem to wrestle from you I can't talk Tell us and then create a layout. So I use stickers for mine because I love my stickers. And look at this, it's so much fun. So this one is quite a thick layout because I have matted it all on foam just to get all that texture and dimension there. We've got lots going on on this layout. And yeah, love it. That is another favorite. And our last one for day 12 was a scrap lift of Sasha Farina for the scrapbook kit at Studio Calico. And tennis was the challenge. And we used a large photo. So I basically just rotated the sketch. So if you look 
the not sketch the um, scrapper and it's a photo that Tom took and then we used the gap in the photo to give us some embellishment large title using lots of Vicky boot and goodies love this as well and that's it guys that is my 12 days of summer scrap lifts complete we are going to be continuing on I've definitely got my mojo back so we're going to jump on that and have some happy scrappy fun I hope you guys have had fun if you joined in with either the paper issues challenges or the scrap squad scrap lifts don't forget that there is a new scrap lift every Thursday and then they do these events I think they do one for every season I know there's a spring and a summer and an autumn so there must be a winter um, and then they have other periodic events but otherwise every week there is a new scrap lift and there's loads of albums to go through and so much inspiration and it's great to see how different people interpret a layout and that is me done guys i hope you have enjoyed this series thank you for spending some time with me watching really appreciate it hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you all soon bye for now